Okay. We have a problem. A diesel engine is bound to have uh, 20 kilogram of fuel gas per kilogram of fuel using a uh, dodecane, so that would be C12 H26 that is used as a fuel. Now, uh, find the percent excess air to complete the combustion. Now for the solution, so we bring down the equation of air fuel ratio, so that will be the equation natin, that will be the mass of air. Okay. That is divided by the mass of fuel, which is equal to your air fuel ratio, which is also equal to the stoichiometric air fuel ratio. Then it is multiplied to 1 plus your excess air. Now, I draw here our combustion chamber. So, when something to take place on combustion. So, we're going to supply here sa combustion chamber. We have the mass of air. Dito. Then, we're going to supply also the mass of fuel. So, simultaneously. Then, our product for combustions. Okay, so, we have your product dito. So, in order to find the excess air, so first things first, we need to find. So, first things first, we need to find our stoichiometric and also the actual air fuel ratio. Now, if we're going to do a mass balance, so that will be your mass in, going for mass of the system, and also that will be your mass out that which is going out of the system. So, yung pumasok, we have that one is your mass of air and the mass of fuel. So, Writing that one here in our equation, mass of air plus your mass of fuel, which is equal to the product, okay, which is our product is your mass of the blue gas. Okay, so I'm going to write here mass of our blue gas. And then we can rewrite our equation in terms, na ito, we make it as an air fuel ratio. Okay. So we do that one by rewriting mass of fuel. So that will be going to multiply as your mass of air, then mass of fuel, plus 1, okay, which is the mass of two gas. So the same thing, if you're going to distribute this one, so they have the same value of this one. Okay. And we can further uh, express this one into our mass of air mass of fuel so that we have one uh, plus one so transpose natin we have your mass of blue gas divided by the mass of fuel then we can rewrite your equation in terms now uh, this is one is already air fuel ratio no this is air fuel ratio then plus one okay so which is equal now to the mass of the blue gas which is divided by the mass of fuel now our mass of the blue gas uh, over the mass of the fuel so we have the value of 20 kilogram of blue gas so this is blue gas per kilogram of fuel so makikita nyo yung unit nito which is blue gas per blue gas per kilo uh, mass of the fuel so we can equate this one to 20 kilogram of fuel per kilogram of oh sorry this is blue gas so this is okay so that is 20 kilogram of blue gas per kilogram of fuel then we can also rewrite this one or uh, actual air fuel so take note this is actual air fuel ratio so we, since we are dealing already the product nandito na okay so, pwede natin pang rewrite our equation into actual air fuel ratio. So, that will be 20, no? Kilogram of fuel, kilogram of blue gas, minus 1. So, transpose natin ito yung value ng 1. So, we can express yung equation natin ng ganito. Now, ang ating actual air fuel ratio, no? Remember that one, our actual air fuel ratio. 
So that is equal to your actual air fuel ratio. So the same value nito, which is equal to the uh, stoichiometric air fuel ratio that is multiplied by 1 plus your excess air. So from here we can solve now yung stoichiometric since kailangan natin siya. Since we have the value on the other side, ito yung 20 kg of fuel. So what we need now in, to solve the problem is so to find, to find out how, what is the excess air to complete the combustion now is to find out first the stoichiometric air fuel ratio. Okay, so remembering the first step, remembering yung step po natin, so write out the combustion formula. So we have your fuel plus air and we have your products. Now, so we have your our fuel which is C12H26 and we're going to add the A plus the 0. Point, uh, oxygen plus 3.76 of nitrogen. Then we have your product which is your and your CO2, we have your C for H2O and you have A. Or 3.76. Now for step two, so write out the molar equation. So we balance the equation. So by balancing using the principles of mass of conservation. So what we have here, so let's start with carbon. No? So starting with carbon. So for the carbon, we have your 12. Okay, so this one. So that will be 12. So again, we assume 1 moles of fuel. So we multiply by 1. Then equate that 1 to your value doon sa kabila. So we have your B on the other side. Then for your high, next, we go to hydrogen. Now for our hydrogen, so we have here 26. Okay, so again, multiply 1 mole, um, mole of fuel. Then, sa kabila, we have your 2. So, that will be 2 times C. Okay. So, yun dun sa kabila. Then, we go next to the value, uh, for the value of your oxygen. Now, for the oxygen, uh, this side, so we have your oxygen this side and the other one in the side. So, we have 2A, which is equal to... Um, 2B plus well, we have this one so that will be only C. So this one for our value of C, okay, so we have the value of C which is uh, 26 divided by, by 2 so we have 13. Now we can substitute yung which is unknown so we have now your A is equal to 2 times the value of B, which is 12, plus the value of C, which is 13. So we have now, oh, this is divided by, overall divided by, by 2. So we have the value of A is equal to 18.5. Now we're going to substitute yung mga values na ito to this equation to our uh, combustion formula. So we have substituted the value. Now we're going to distribute again to expand the equation, equation ng ating combustion formula. So rewriting that one. So that will be your C12. No? So H26 plus we have your 18.5 to multiply by your oxygen plus 3.76 no? Lime, uh, times 18.5. So we have 69.56 of your nitrogen then your product we have your 12 so this is co2 then plus your 13 so we have h2o again 18.5 times 3.76 we have again 69.56 so for the nitrogen so we have now the final uh, equation for our combustion formula so that will be C12H56, 80.5, you have your oxygen, O2, plus 69.56, then multiply um, by nitrogen, then we have 12 CO2, then 13 H2O, plus 69.56 for the nitrogen. So from here, we can now uh, go to the step 3. So we're going to write out the uh, stoichiometric air fuel ratio.
Now for our stoichiometric ratio, so for stoichiometric, we have the mass of air divided by the mass of air. Well, again, so moles of air, which is equal to your mass of air, which is moles of air times the molecular weight of air. Then moles of fuel, so we, uh, molecule, uh, mass of fuel, so that is equal to moles of fuel times the molecular weight of fuel. So substitute natin yung mga values nito. We have, again, focus on this one for our mass of air. So dito yung ating proper, uh, properties ng air. So we have, now, this one we have 18. No? So we have here 18.5. So, that will be multiplied by 32, then plus 69.56. So, that will be multi, uh, plus 69.56. Uh, then, multiply it by 28. Then, we have the units, Nito, which is... Uh, will be kilogram no kilogram per kmol then divided by the moles of fuel okay take note so for our computation so we assume one mole so close parenthesis that one then we have again 12 no so that will be 12 times 12 then we have the molecular weight then we have your 26 times 1. Okay, just only to represent. No? Close parenthesis that 1. We have kilogram per kilogram of mole. Now using your calculator. So we have the final value for this one. Which is now equal to 15. No? So that will be the unit, which is kilogram of air per kilogram of fuel. So take note of again the units that is kilogram of air, kilogram of fuel. Now we have the value now ng natin ng stoichiometric. So pwede na natin siyang substitute dito. And we can find the value of your excess air. Since the value of our uh, actual air fuel ratio, which is equal to 20, no? So, this is ito yun. So, we have writing that one here. So, that will be kilogram of flue gas. Okay, so, we have that um, ano natin value. So, substituting that one. Now, um, we can divide it doon sa kabila. Um, or distribute it and again divide that one value here. So, para makuha natin yung values. So, eventually, we'll, yung fuel natin magka-cancel that naman kung ilipat mo sa kabila. So, our units will be cancelled out. Tsaka nito. Okay. So, we have dito, values. So, we have so, we have 20, no? Divided by 15. Okay, then Lipat natin dito sa kabila. So, we have 1. So, for our excess air is equal now to. So, I forgot to dagdag yung ano pala dito, no? Yung 1. So, usually mayroon tayong minus 1 dito. Okay. So, that is minus 1. So, this is minus 1. Mm, rewriting that 1 natin yung equation. So, so, let's erase this one. Okay, so we have the correction here. Now, we have the excess air is equal now to your value nyan. So, that will be 26.6%. So, multiply it by 100. So, that is 26.6%. 26.6% is our excess air. Okay, so, that's it. Okay, so it's very easy. I don't know how many solutions.